made it to town and back. Thank God. With my lady friend. I used to not like her. Couldn't stand her. She reminds me of my mom. My mom was a bitch. I'm not saying that she's a bitch. It's not what I'm saying. She's just, just got a certain personality type. I don't normally get along with other Virgo females. Any other time I've had um, any type of relating with the Virgo, other Virgos that are chicks. I'm born on the 4th of September. So dearly, I'm a Leo. But I do have Virgo tendencies, and I do observe that September people are very similar. They're all born in September. There's, And the women are very um, bossy. But I don't, I don't really care about that anymore the same way. If they're bossy and they're, it's helpful, it gets us in and out of somewhere, I don't, I don't mind. I'll, I'll be helpful. I default to being helpful and rather than bitch like an asshole. When I, I had a Colombian girlfriend that she was also born in September on, I don't know the day though. It was after my birthday, but it wasn't that far much after. That's the same as my friend here. And we went to, she lived in Houston, but she came out here and we went to the store to go shopping. We went into the HEB and I was going to cut through to go straight to get, I want to get the food and come back home and cook because that's what we were going to do. And when I went through the door straight, she was just standing there looking at me and I turned around and she's like, <coughs> she goes, what I want is not over there. I was like, how the hell do you know? You don't even, you're not, you don't live in this town. This ain't your H-E-B. How do you know? She literally went to all of the the little things where they, they're they giving out the food for you to taste something, and then they give you the coupon. That's all she got. That's all, that's all that she wanted to get. She didn't really need to go to the store to get food. Well, she needed to eat, too, but I cooked dinner out of what I got, and she made it incredibly difficult and made a scene. She was a nice girl, though. No, she was very mean. She told me that I should take that powder that they have in Colombia. I forget what it's called. She's like, just blow it in your landlord's face and you don't have to pay the rent. It's like, we don't have that in America. Maybe you're evil. I think she was a little bit evil. She was some sort of a cult student that, uh, at, I don't know, with the Harry Potter fucking grade schedule. I was going to say that she got kicked out of the fire grade. Earth, air, water, fire. You failed. You failed the fire grade. It's sort of like the four years of high school. And it'd be, be like failing out of being a senior. And then you have portal. Portal's the next grade for adeptship. I only made it to water, but I moved. would have would have liked to gotten back involved with it. I really liked it. I liked the Golden Dawn. She's very interesting. I like this girl too. I like her. She seems to be having a difficult the same difficulty with people that I, I have. I don't I don't like going into public. I don't like dealing with people. This town has a lot of really evil evil and petty people, at least as far as the younger people circles go. And I think it's always been like that. It's kind of a phenomenon. You know, but I mean, I guess everybody could say that about their own town. But this town does have some weird shit that I attribute to being on the line of the pyramid. But I don't know. I do know some people that do appear appear to be evil. Not, I'm not going to say that they're like soulless, but they're narcissistic and sociopathic. My friend likes to tell me I've got autism or, sh or some shit and pisses me the fuck off because I don't have no fucking autism. I'm just smarter than her. 
but I'm not, she's not dumb either. She's she's smart, but being around a bunch of uh, dummy dope heads, one has to adjust their apparent intelligence to deal with them. So I get that. I try not to be hostile. I try to actually be very sweet. It's been a good lesson for my heart to try to keep this person as somebody that my heart cares about. And I do. And I do. But also does remind me a little bit of my mom. She doesn't look like my mom. It's not creepy like that. But she has the personality kind of of my mom when my mom was moving around. My mom was a difficult motherfucker, dude. My mom was a fucking monster. My mom was a monster. She was fucking... She would do fucked up shit. She would tell you fucked up shit. Like, say you had a a girlfriend and somebody raped them. And she would be like, you know, you just let your friends, you just let your friends rape your girlfriend. You know, like it's my friend or something, you know. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Just poking you with shit like that. No, it had nothing to do with me. It was just some shit that you couldn't tell her anything. She would use it as ammunition against you and just beat you up with all this stuff and go into that that white woman like, mm -hmm, okay, okay, yeah, whatever, mm -hmm, and just keep saying shit, but never. You couldn't stick her with nothing. You could. You could. If you were a child and you knew her. Shot through the heart. You're too play. I do. I like my friend. I love my friend. I love her. I have love for her. I think she's kind of cute too. She's a little chunky like me now. And that's all right. That's all right. But people are weird. The president says that his, um, his government has acted fast to make sure that the rest of the, uh, there's going to be more problems. There's going to be more problems with the, um, I'll let you see what he said. Put it right here. Thanks to the quick action of my administration over the past few days, Americans can have confidence that the banking system. Thanks to his quick action, day one, he started to destroy the economy, and now it's coming home to roost. Quick action. All that woke shit, all that Sam Bankman freed money. All those cryptos going to the Democrats, motherfucker! Your quick action—it'd be—we'd be amazed if we survive. Your slow ass. <laughs> 